Hello, welcome to Fun Rover TV. This episode is brought to you by Dinner Troll and Regel, the UK distributors of Dinner Troll, which are very high quality rust proofing products. Land Rover's rust, you'll know that if you've had one for more than six months, you'll have actually seen the rust forming and it's not something that you can put to an end full stop, but what you can do is apply rust proofing products, wax products, and other rust converting agents to stop the rust from getting any worse and prevent new rust from forming. Everybody says, oh, Land Rovers don't rust, but they do, you see, everyone gets confused. The bodywork is aluminium. It's made from a Bermabrite alloy and that doesn't rust. However, it does corrode, but anyway. Steel, on the other hand, does, and that's what the majority of the components on the underside of your Defender, Discovery, Range Rover Classic, any car for that matter, they're made from steel. So you've got things like the chassis, that's made from a box section, mild steel, with bracketry that's welded on, again, steel. Diff pans, diff casings, steel. Cast steel, or in the case of the diff pan, that's pressed steel. And then you've got other things like the radius arms, which will be, again, a cast steel. So why is that a problem? Well, steel contains iron, and any metal that contains more than 5% iron is going to rust. The reason that happens is it's a chemical reaction. So you get a reaction between the iron in the metal, water that's in the air, or obviously puddles and road surface water, and then also oxygen. Those three compounds react to form a hydrated oxide. It's typically Fe2O3. That's the actual chemical name for rust. So once that's formed, obviously you'll know yourself, it spreads, it spreads, then causes structural problems. Secondly, the Land Rover Defender is pretty much the best design you could make for forming and encouraging the growth of rust. You see, you've got a box section steel chassis, which is peppered with holes. That allows rust to form because you get so much water, moisture, salts from de-icing agents on the road getting trapped inside there and then just sitting, festering, and the whole thing rusts from the inside out. So it's the perfect design, all those exposed components on the underside plenty of chance for rust to form and then thirdly the rust corrosion protection from the factory straight off the assembly line isn't that great there's problems with kind of patchy thin even sometimes non-existent paint coatings there's no sort of real heavy anti-rust primer laden with zinc so you can see sometimes on a, a new brand new defender on the forecourt rusty water, surface rust forming on the chassis, under the body cappings, and so, you know, straight, straight away the vehicle's not really got a good start in life. However, what we can do is apply Dinatrol products. Dinatrol I found to be the best rust proofing product by far, okay? Everybody uses wax oil. Wax oil is okay. I've used it in the past myself. You put a very thick coating on, maybe two coats, and it, it's okay, but after a while, the solvents that are carriers for the bitumen wax, they evaporate, and that means the wax that you've stuck on there becomes very brittle, it drops off, it cracks, and also you get moisture and water getting trapped behind those cracks in the seams, and it just sits there, and actually it's probably worse than if you hadn't have applied the wax products in the first place. However, Dinatrol is different because Dinatrol is a much more comprehensive product. It's, a, it's not just one single product that you apply, but actually it's several. So you start with rust conversion, rust treating products that encapsulate rust, that actually convert the iron oxide that's formed into a, a stable organic compound. Secondly, you apply a high penetrative wax coating product that really does creep into all the seams, all the cracks, the crevices of the vehicle. And then thirdly, you apply a protective top coat that's also pretty pleasing to the eye. It's an aesthetic protective top coat that looks after all the other products you've applied underneath. 
And then finally, in another episode, we'll actually show you how to apply things like their stone chipping products in high abrasion areas like the wheel arches and uh, sort of behind the wheels, things like that. And also for high temperature components like the exhaust inside of the engine, we can stop those alloys and steels there corroding as well. This episode will concentrate on the chassis and underbody. We'll be using one of the Dinatrol large motor vehicle kits. In fact, there are actually Land Rover specific kits on the Regel website now, so check those out. It includes pretty much everything you need. There are options for compressor or aerosols, so if you don't have a compressor, you can use the aerosol kit, which is just as good and very easy to do yourself. It's also a lot cheaper than if you were to take it to a rust proofing agent. You'll need things like tarps and protective coveralls because this is pretty messy so you don't want this on your drive, you don't want it really on your clothes and on your skin. Uh, we'll show you a few tips throughout the video how to prevent that from being a, just a horrible job to clear off. Also things like foil are very useful for masking off the exhaust, masking tape and some masking paper for protecting the vehicle bodywork so that we don't have as much cleanup later on, stopping overspray from becoming a problem. And just general tools really, we're going to remove the bumper and a few components, nothing major but a socket set and a screwdriver set, maybe some spanners, definitely come in handy when doing this job. But other than that, it's pretty much it. You need perhaps a weekend plus the time for drying and also the steam cleaning drying time. So it's a, a nice easy job. It's the perfect time of year to be doing it because in winter, well, the air's cold. So obviously your chassis is cold. You get a lot of salts and things in, in winter, whereas now it's a bit drier. We don't have as many de-icing agents on the road. The ambient air temperature is a bit warmer. And so overall, it's going to be more pleasant for you applying it. It's also going to be more in favor of the rust proofing products and within their specifications for application. And it's just generally a nice time to get under your vehicle, see what winter has actually done to the chassis of your Land Rover, and then evaluate where you need to treat any metal and rust proof the underside. If you enjoyed this episode of Fun Rover TV, then go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. We've got plenty of other videos and so many more coming. You can also find us on the internet on our website, funrover.com. We have an online store now, so go ahead and visit that if you so wish. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can email us hello at funrover.com, as well as checking us out on social media. We are at funrover. And I just got completely blanked by a Land Rover Defender driver. Nice one. So, remember where we're going? We don't need roads.